Hi, I'm Donna. I'm Donna. Welcome back, and welcome back to you. I know. Donna's back from Mayberry, and she brought along a whole bunch of pictures and information. And so, we're going to go over this and tell you who these people are, what she got to do, and why she goes. Right? Yeah. So tell us, why do you go? Why do I go? Why do I go? Um, actually, um, I started going to Mayberry to visit my sister. My mm -hmm. sister Debbie and Daryl, they have a little shop, Mayberry on Main Street, and it's in North Carolina. And that's where they have the um, the Mayberry Days. So, and that's the annual festival for Mount Airy. Well, they have a lot of festivals Do there, they? Okay. but okay. Um, you know the one I'm interested in, of course, is the Mayberry Days because mm -hmm. um, going down there it's so much fun and. Um, it really happened to where Debbie's store, I was going to go down and help her and Daryl and Samantha, because Samantha always helps work the store and everything. But I got down there, and then all these wonderful people would come in the store, and they'd start talking. She'd go, no one even knew my name the first year, because they, Debbie would say, this is my sister. <laughs> so, um... So I needed a button that said Debbie's sister because they all knew her, <laughs> knew her from Mayberry on Main Street. And then um, some of them, when they would do the parade or um, they would come in the shop and that's where they would, you know, get ready. So I just got the oh. best of all the world. And so really when I started going down there, it was like... Um, Something my sister wanted me to do. She was, like, concerned that I wasn't doing anything, which I was. And I was pretty much, I was in mourning because my husband passed away. And so, um, her, my, my sister, and my daughter Brenda, they're, you know, they stayed huddled close. And my friends, like Donna and many others, um, you know, started having me do stuff. And so, that's what I did. I went to Mayberry Day's. Those people were so nice. I was back in time. There was fun and excitement, and I got to meet all these celebrities and all these tribute artists, and I have a whole week of no stress and just fun. That's great. It that is. is great. I mean, I want everyone to go. Yeah. I mean, everyone needs to pack up and go next year. Yeah. So they have it every year. You know what I think? What? I really think. I think that I mean, we're just starting this little blog, or vlog, but I really believe how cool would it be to get a bus and have it wrapped in this and take off from here to Mount Airy and just take everybody with us. Yes, I think we should. Okay, that would and be awesome. I tried to do, I am like so involved. I like run around, I try and take a lot of pictures. Um, I know I take a lot of selfies, but I'm with celebrities, and I'm with the <laughs> tribute artists. So it's like, yes, I took pictures of me and the other people. And so that's wonderful. I know. It's just it's and they don't what get I wanted to do. No, they don't get yeah. mad. So um, who did you see, and what did you get to do? What do you want to start with? Okay. So um, when I got there, first thing, of course, I stopped and... Um, oh, sorry. Stopped, and my sister and some of the other ones that do, like, the tribute and, um, you know, play the actors on the Andy Griffith show, they were um, at a restaurant, and so I got to go first thing. As soon as I got there, get out of the Jeep, and here <laughs> I'm around amazing. all these people, and, um, you know, they're talking about what events is going to go on, and... There was just a whole lot of stuff. There was golfing. There was a dinner. There was um, shows, music, parade, all of that. So going down there, I was on my way down, and I got a telephone call, and I actually am friends with Dixie, and Dixie is Andy's real daughter. So I want to be friends with Dixie. I know we all want to be friends with her. She is like the kindest person. I'm going to say that a thousand times because um, 
she normally, um, she does book signing sometimes in Mount Airy at Devin Daryl's shop. So and she, she has a book? Well, no. Oh. We have to cut that out because she doesn't have a book. <laughs> Sorry. She she signs pictures and oh stuff. okay or okay. she you know I mean people want to meet her it's right. Andy's daughter right and um she also plays um one of the fun girls like you know uh, that came from Mount Pilot mm -hmm. and her and her friend Michelle usually you know do a little spill and Daphne um, and Skippy. Daphne right. and Skippy. Mm -hmm. So she, Dixie, is usually Skippy, and um, she couldn't make it this year. It was all of a sudden she couldn't make it, so I got to do a spot as Skippy. <laughs> That's so, amazing. I know. That's great. I'm a celebrity. <laughs> so anyway. I can't I'm, imagine. I cannot imagine you being a fun girl, and I'm kidding because... You've always been that personality. I always. had a blast because <laughs> it puts you right in the middle of things. Plus, you get to worm in where you, everybody else really doesn't get to. I try not to be too annoying, <laughs> but I'm sure that I'm sure that I am. But <laughs> so, awesome. who's your favorite on Andy Griffith? Oh my gosh! I you know I mean I love them all. Andy always reminded me. I think I still think to this day that my dad looked like him. Because of the hair. The yes. hair. I really do. Don't you? I Can do, you see I that? I do. Yes. Yeah. And so he's always reminded. And my mom died when I was four. So, you know, I mean, I kind of related. So I love Andy. And of course, I love Barney. But I really like Ernest T. <laughs> <laughs> Ernest T. So I. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, the only one that's destructive in uh, Mayberry, <laughs> that's the one Donna likes, which is okay. Yeah. Because um, I did bring her a cut back and she left it at my house. Oh. So Sorry, I, I don't know. I might drink <laughs> out of it because it is. But anyway, <laughs> so we have um, lots of people that I put, uh, took pictures with. There was um, Betty Lynn. Who is Thelma Lou? Yes, and um, she was there this year. And um, that's, that's where they were, I went to the golf tournament because I was going to be Skippy. It was kind of rainy and everything, so really, I just for that event, I just wore a shirt from Mayberry on Main, and it said, um, "I'm one of the fun girls." So, you know, we rode around in a golf cart. It was me and Michelle, and she's a riot. And, um, you know, just took pictures of them and just, you know, listened to their jokes. And it was just kind of a relaxing time, I think, for them. But in the meantime, while they were out on the golf course, the actual people that has been in the show was okay. inside at the country oh. club. I think it was the country club. Okay. So I did sneak in. <laughs> and, no. I mean, it wasn't really sneaking because <laughs> they kind of knew, you know, Michelle was in there. She's been around him for a long, long time. But it was, uh, it was uh, Thelma Lou and uh, little Ricky from, um, he played on I Love Lucy, the drummer, and he's still a drummer. And I have pictures of him. And, um, and was he in the Andy Griffith Show with him, too? Yes. Okay. Um, and um, no doubt one of Opie's friends. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, there's, I mean, we could do years of the Andy Griffith yeah. Show. Oh, yeah. I mean, really. Mm -hmm. So, um,. I just cannot tell you how you go back in time and how people um, know the show, they watch the show. Um, when somebody says something, you know, they answer in a quote from the show. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it was just fun. It's fun for everyone that goes, family, kids. I mean, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. And I think everyone has a special character you know mm -hmm. i thought barney was hilarious he i is. just yeah. yes and the tribute artists are just as funny yeah i mean they are hilarious they do so <laughs> good like you really think you're there and you forget you know yeah mm -hmm. well everybody wanted to be there i know yeah mm -hmm.
Okay, so here we go. I'm going to get a little more organized because my mind's just rolling. There was so much stuff going on. But anyway, so let's talk about, let me talk about um, me trying to get ready to be a fun girl because I didn't yeah. know until I was on the way down there. So I didn't know what I wear, what I do. So, um, See, that would have scared me to death. And no, I mean, I knew it. they would be kind to me no matter what happened. <laughs> so they were. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just went into like this little consignment shop and I tried some dresses on. There were some people there and they was like, that is skippy. So <laughs> that's ended up what I got. I mean, it was like a, the dress was like 20 bucks and Michelle gave me like all the jewelry and everything. Oh, so nice. And she had a little routine and... Um, you know, one of the things Skippy says is Bernie. Bernie. <laughs> yeah, she calls Bernie Bernie. Yes. So, you know, I practice that a little bit. And my um, you know, just like a lot of people down there, they all know the routine. Like you they know what, you know, the show says. So mm -hmm. but I kinda I cheated a little bit and I got and watched, you know, some of the clips on YouTube, Good. so I'd be sure, and because my part isn't, hello doll, yeah. <laughs> so, but I tried to say it more than once, <laughs> I just couldn't help myself, <laughs> so anyway, um, there was a whole lot of people there, and then last year when I went, there was one that you know, there's a guy on the Andy Griffith show that sells elixir to Aunt B. Okay. And she gets loaded. Well, he didn't get to make it this year, but, um, so everyone missed him, you know, people sending messages and pictures and all that. But he's one of them, and he, he just looks great, which is right there. As Keith Brown. Okay. So anyway, Keith didn't make it, but we missed you, Keith. Um, I know I missed you. Aww. And then, um, then we have Ronnie Shell, which Duke. So you know who Ronnie I Shell do, is. I do. So yes. you tell me. He is the funniest guy. Yeah. <laughs> he is the sweetest guy, and. I mean, he tells jokes all the time. Does he really? Yes. I mean, yeah. like, you know, he's sitting in the restaurant. It's so funny because I was, like, sneaking. I thought, I'm going to sneak a picture. And he was like, <laughs> come on over. So he just let me go over there and snap a picture. Yeah. 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 So. So Duke on. Um, he was part of Gomer. Yes. You know. So yes. he was Gomer's best friend on. He, Duke Slater. Yes. Yes. So that's kind of. Anyway. Hi, Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. <laughs> so, <laughs> then, oh, we have, um, uh -huh. uh, this is, um, this is a guy, his name is Randy. He is retired. I think he is a vet. But anyway, he drove Ronnie Shell around in this Jeep for the parade. He oh, was okay. very nice. So it's like every time you go you meet somebody mm -hmm. and you just chit chat and talk. But he's one he's one that took the picture of me looking okay. at Ronnie Shell and I was just like I really like that picture because number one it wasn't a selfie and someone else took it. <laughs> and um you know, it's just how much fun it showed how much fun. Yes. I mean I had fun. I went to bed so early, like as soon as I would get to um not the motel, but it seemed like one because <laughs> Debbie had everything ready for me. I had everything I ever needed. Aww. And, um, you know, I'd go to bed because I couldn't wait to get started. The That's next so day. cool. Yeah. So jump up and do that. But Aww. anyway, he was a nice guy. And um, then people would come in the shop, and there's, um, um, there's Norm. Okay. And Norm is, he plays on blue blood okay. so okay. I mean it's like 
you know, I get <laughs> starstruck. I just love to know what type personalities people have that are in the sh movies. Yeah, yeah. So, or on a movie show, or and um, <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, he was in the parade. He was kind, nice, pleasant. And then we have Dick Atkins and his wife. Um, Joanna. Yeah. And he did murder in Coweta, C O W E T A. Okay. So, county. And it was Andy Griffith and it was Johnny Cash. And Johnny Cash was the good guy and Andy was the bad guy. How is that? That's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, so. They showed it in the theater down there. I went to see it. And That's cool. It is. I mean, just yeah. all day, everything. I mean, it's just, you feel like you're a part of. I mean, who can't feel a part of mm -hmm. That's the amazing. show? I mean, yeah. everybody. There yeah. has to be somebody you like, whether it be Ernest T. That's right. Or That's right. Aunt B. Or Opie. Yes. Or, yes. Or the peanut butter guy, which is. You know Clint Howard. Is? Yes, it is. Oh, and I his brother, or Ronnie Howard's brother. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So he was there too, and he brought this clip from his brother. Um, it was like a little film, and he said, you know, how it was just touching. He talked about Mayberry Days and mm -hmm. all the people and what it meant to him. I mean, it was great. So. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> oh my goodness me I mean I just still get so excited I just kind of want to go back and I can't remember everybody's names all the time but um we have Kenneth Junkin which he is he's the first really Mayberry Tribune artist that I ever met and he's oh, yeah? just a kind man he plays Otis and oh, okay. um, he does like all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I mean, he's charities and, you know, just all around a great That's guy. Cool. That's cool. So, um, he, uh, through my sister and through Samantha and um, Daryl, you know, I just got, I mean, they just let me in their whole little world. So, anyway, he's a great guy and he does a great Otis and he does the shows, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then, um, Floyd the Barber. Mm -hmm. That is done by Alan Newson. Okay. And he has, I mean, he's a Mayberry guy because he has um, like a podcast and um, has like a really good web, uh, Facebook and yes. Yeah. All and kinds of stuff. We'll link to that too in the description box. Yes. We will. She will. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll try, but I don't <laughs> know. And then um, we have. Um, Oh, did I say Alan was the Tribune artist for Floyd? The barber? I think so. And I mean, he, it's funny, he pulls them scissors out of his Does pocket he? To, 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 to little kids, and they're looking at him like, oh no, don't cut my hair. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, and then Goober, which is um, Tim Pettigrew. Yeah. And he is hilarious at his facial expression yeah and i mean they just get into character and it's just like you're watching the show that's awesome yeah uh, and then we got gomer um michael oliver and he um i mean the way he is built and the way his facial expression I mean, you can forget that you're not actually talking to the character. Yeah. I mean, it is so oh. good. I just love it. They're funny. They're kind. They stop. Like the parade, really. It was long. And um, after the golf tournament, they go down Main Street. Well, Main Street's pretty long. Mm -hmm. Well, they all go down, and they stop, and they talk to people. Oh. I mean, it takes them, you know, an hour to just get from here to... Yeah. I mean, not very far because they don't pass anyone up. That's nice. 
it that's is really, nice. really nice. That's what I mean. It's just mm -hmm. like, ooh. And then we have <laughs> um, Mayor Pike, and he, you know, played the mayor. And um, his name's Eric Lowry, I yeah. think. He's from Scottsburg. So, Here, Scottsburg? Yeah, next time I'm thumbing a ride. Come on, Mayor, pick me up. <laughs> so, um, and then we got... Um, well, and what's his name? His name is Eric Lowry. Hey, Eric. So, and then we have Terry Varvel, V-A-R-V-E-L. You know, I was calling him Barney, and I was calling him Gomer and Goober. <laughs> I mean, I don't call them by their first names, but, you know, I'm around them enough to where I should be able to call them by their <laughs> first names. And then last year I met George Lindsay Jr., uh -huh. which is, um... It's <laughs> waving. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Goober's son. Okay. His actual son. And, um, you know, he was there last year, and he's a comedian. He plays music. I mean, they're so talented. They do all kinds of stuff. And then this year, the first time I ever seen one of the Tribune artists, her name was Christy McLeegan. Christy is her name. Mm -hmm. But anyway, she played Lucille Ball in the, you know, when she... Um, when Lucille Ball did the, she was taking the cough syrup and it tastes good, the <laughs> veggie, I couldn't do it. But anyway, she was hilarious <laughs> and she did a great job. And then I got a clip of her, which I'm having trouble downloading, but um, I heard doing singing and singing the Salty Dog. Really? Yeah, won't you be? Yeah. I can't sing or I'd be. Won't you be? Is that, was she, um. Won't Charlene? You be my, yes, yes. Darling. She's doing her. Um, okay. She plays her character. Okay. You know? So, because getting back to that, the real people, I mean, all of us are real people, but the ones that really <laughs> played in the show. Right. Yes. That's cool. So, um, then we, I met someone new too. Her name, um, um, is <laughs> Ellie. No, that's not her name, but that's who she played. Um, you know, <laughs> Ellie she Walker? Was, yes, yes, running for council. Okay. And her husband. So, you know, it's like meeting new friends, new ideas. They're from different. I mean, everybody comes from everywhere. So you learn a whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Just by making one friend, you learn so right, much about. Right. Yes, everyone. That's, yeah. And then there's um, Chris Hudson. Okay. He's doing like a little film. Um, he's been working on it for two years, so I don't know what kind of, but it's the Mayberry effect. Oh, really? So, I That's mean, interesting. yeah, so he's there. He's got one of them great big cameras, and he's like, you know, and of course I'm like, like this? Is that how they did in the uh, episode? Oh, they yeah. Think, the movie? Uh, <laughs> but, um,. <laughs> Anyway, he's doing the Mayberry effect, and um, I think it'll, I can't wait for it to come out. Yeah. I mm -hmm. want to see it. Mm -hmm. And then um, we also have um, Star Cowl. He was there. And um, Dennis Rush. He played Howie on the show, okay. and I think it's the very first time the feeling that I got, and I'm sure they talked about it too, but it's the first time he's came, because, you know, they really? were a little bitty, yeah. and then they have him, they had him, and then the one that played little Ricky on, you know, okay. the I Love Lucy show, so they were there, and they did like a little spill on what it was like, and how it was being around the, um the set mm -hmm. and how wonderful it was with Andy, Barney, yeah. you know, as real people. Right, right. So, I mean, it was nothing but good things. So they, you could tell it really affected them too to be there. Yes. That's and then, yeah. yeah, because of course, Clint Howard was there. He's been there before, but little, that little Ricky mm -hmm. and, um, 
Dennis Rush uh -huh. hadn't been there before. Oh, okay, okay. And then what you want to know about little Ricky, he, they showed us a clip, and he was, like, playing the drums, and he was probably two years old, and he plays the drums now. Really? Yes, and he's fabulous, because they did a little show, and he was drumming, so. That's great. It is great. Wow. Um, his name's Keith. Okay. Hi, Keith. <laughs> 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 if I ever do get to a Mayberry Days, I will, you know. I know. And May then Dennis Rush, he played in eight episodes. And he got up, like, you know, we went to the amphitheater. And I think that's what it's called. But he was talking, and he was talking about how, um, how good it felt. I mean, I think... It, I mean, he had to be overwhelmed, I'm right. assuming, but I would think he would have been. So, then we have... You, know, um, you stop and think about, you know, I mean, he was a kid, right? On the show? when he was Yes, a, little bit. And so, if that's the first time back, how many years? And all these, like you said, all these people coming from everywhere. So, all the roads that everyone's traveled, and you're here in this tiny little place... Called Mayberry. That has a strange effect. <laughs> I know. Let's go see the movie. <laughs> anyway, so yes. Um, the one that played Ellie for Council, her name mm -hmm. was Mary Mosher and her husband Phil. So they were Mary really nice. Phil. They, you know, they talked. They, she looks like her. Does she? And then she was carrying the sign and I was like, I back in time. I really lost my mind while I was there. Yeah. I was so happy. I was like, <laughs> I, I never want to go back to work. I never want to leave. But what, you know, I try and remind myself is that they all go back to their lives too. Right. I'm sure their lives are a little more exciting than mine, <laughs> but they go back to their life. And right. then I get to follow them. Some in New York, some in California, some you know, just right down the road in North Carolina. I mean, it is Or Scottsburg. Or Scottsburg. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have yeah. to look him up. He'll yeah. be like, stalker. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But he's a nice guy, too. And, I mean, they're just so funny. I mean, you take any clip out of the show, and they do it. Yeah. You know, and it's... Well, the, on your Facebook, when you on the day that you were driving down there mm -hmm. somebody put on there you beat everything you know that <laughs> yeah That's like my favorite quote i mean I, you can ask mike i have said that for you just beat everything you know that. yes <laughs> i know there's so many so many yes so and many yes yes like goober says hey yeah yeah <laughs> so anyway let's see what else I mean, there was, like, so much, and I know we're putting in one thing, because we're trying to stay, you know, light and mm -hmm. stay with the season and all that. It's, you know, October. It's cold. Yeah, it's a little and, chilly here. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, Halloween's coming up. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we want to do. But I want to say that there's Tom, Thomas Perry. He writes books. And I, I buy I, some books, and they're very good. I mean, you yeah. know, it tells you all kind of information. Yeah. That's who I got to meet via Facebook Live. Oh, yes. I yes. did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um. You were like my you know, Mayberry conduit. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I feel like an amateur compared to all them. So, but, um, here's this book, and then, uh. It so happens to be that my you guys know you guys know Daryl. See, he's in this book with the wall of flame and the Hawaiian shirt. Yes, signature. Yes, and um, his wall of flame is um. He, see here, it shows a good picture. This is all the bottles he's actually had. That's a lot. And this is like the new one. But anyway, he goes on and on. He has like taste tests, which we're going to do We're going to do one. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, some are like so hot. Mm -hmm. No. 
but some are delicious, and then, you know, they sell jams, jellies, pickles, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's pretty good. T-shirts. T-shirts. Ball caps. Yes, I got pictures of those, and, um, but, and then we have Mayberry Melodies, and this is the songs on the Andy Griffith Show, oh, and, okay. um, Rodney Dillard, um, by R.A. Leaf. Here, I'm going to put it right there. Okay? <laughs> and it says, Mayberry Melodies has every song performed on the Andy Griffith Show and more. Be sure and make this instant classic part of your Mayberry collection. Which, of course, I did because, <laughs> you know. Arthur R. Allen Leaf and special contributor, The Darlings, Rodney Dillard, which I heard him play. He's great. And thrilled to be a part of bringing you this historical collection of melodies. That's great. Having lived in the same small town of Mascot, Tennessee for over 50 years, R.A. Leap is recognized by three things. His faith, his music, and his love for the Andy Griffith Show. I'm telling you, he is mm -hmm. blessed to get to share all three with you in this book. Aww. So there you go. Love that. So. And then who was you telling me you got a CD? Um, um, that is one, uh, when, remember Leroy? when the little, uh, when the, uh, <laughs> they come into town, they're on their little, they're in their big truck, there's a bunch the of kids. Yes, the yes. Darlings, the yes. Darlings. <laughs> So anyway, his name is Lee, and I bought one of his CDs, Leroy and Janice. Janice is his wife, and um, great performer. And, you know, he was part of, I mean, there's just, just think how many people were really connected. Yeah, right. That's amazing. And I mean, so, and really, I mean, there's so much music, which I didn't, you know, you don't think about, I mean, I guess people that produce and, um... You know, or doing, but I mean, you know, we all know the whistle, mm -hmm. you know, but the songs, I mean, it's fabulous. That's great. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It yeah. is. And then the VW Boys, they um, played there, and they played like Christian music, and, um, you know, they talked about, you know, Barney did the, I mean, it's, it's kind of around. Yeah. I'm sure they do other songs. And, right. And stuff, and I think they're in Virginia, but they come every year. So, I mean, people just love this event. I mean, mm -hmm. they can't wait for, I mean, you know, there's a lot of them posting, I miss Mayberry. Yes. You know, because we want to go back. <laughs> At least I do, anyway. So, I'm going to, um, the official Surrey Arts Council, this is like the paper there. But, guess what? I got to be, mm -hmm. who was I? Oh, um, Skippy. Skippy. Yes. In the parade. So I put all this red lipstick on and I kissed all kind of people. Mm -hmm. kiss, and kiss, we kiss. did, we looked up, you know, um, you younger people, if you're watching, you know all about hashtags. Some of you our age, maybe you know about hashtags, maybe you don't, but you can actually search a hashtag. And we searched Mayberry Days 2018, and we found people had posted pictures of little Skippy here, Donna Yay. as Skippy. Uh, <laughs> so and cool. I was in the newspaper there after. I mean, you were? Yeah, they caught the tail end of me. But <laughs> I'm in there, so I'm telling you, I was. In, I am a celebrity, and I was in the Mount Airy newspaper. <laughs> and, um... You'll be able to find me. It might be like fun in Waldo, but <laughs> I'm there. Keep looking. That's great. Yes, it is great. That is great. So, um, kind of, you know, the tribute artists, they, you know, make it fun. And, I mean, even the um, actual ones that were in the show, they're friendly, too. They were mm -hmm. in the crowd. They don't just hide out and do nothing yeah you know the only one I didn't see that was there and it kind of for me it wasn't really a Mayberry thing but his Colin Ray he was oh, there okay. and he okay. performed 
But then after, you know, people started posting, he did have some songs with Mayberry kind of stuff in it. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And um, he loves Mayberry. Yeah. So, I mean, you know. Who he, doesn't? And he's coming back next year. So, if mm -hmm. you love him, come on. I'm telling you, we got to buy a bus. And we got to put our we faces gotta on We got to buy it. a bus. Yes. We got to buy a bus. Yes. So, yes. So, kind of, I guess, I'm cheating just a little bit, just to remember. Um, so, we all know um, Tinkerbell. Mm -hmm. Well, Tinkerbell, Margaret Carey. Okay. So, she did play in an episode. I think everyone oh, okay. that kind of was there did play in an episode. But she, you know how... Uh, Tinkerbell's animated. Well, she did the movements, I oh, believe. Oh, really? And that's kind of, you know, okay. she talks about it on her, you know, yeah. on the show. So, it was pretty exciting. And I'm going to search around. I'm, I'm going to try to link a lot of this for you guys. So, if you want to go a little bit deeper and see for yourself. Yeah, because there's pros, Andy Griffin. I was too starstruck to, like, you know... Learn everything, but I did go see his house, his <laughs> you home. Did? Yes, we so he right. was. I know yes. when he was raised, and my sister, she did a great little spill. She did, didn't she? I mean, yeah, yeah. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. We are at Andy Griffith's home place. I can't believe where it. he grew up. He stayed here until he went to college, wow. and his parents lived here until 1966. And then he came and got him and took him to California with him when he was performing there and doing TV and movies and all that. Exciting. Exciting. Wow. I'm turning it around. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning me around. See? There it is. Mm -hmm. She could be an actress. Yeah. She does really good. Plus, she, and, they have so much, I mean, just story after story after story they can tell because they had that shop and people mm -hmm, come in. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like wonderful. Yeah. So, I did eat at the Snappy Lunch. Did you really? That should sound familiar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, I really liked it. And then, um, and you, the Andy Griffith Museum, did you go in there? I did last year. I did okay. not go this year. Okay. Um, but you went in the jail because, you, again, you Facebook lived with me in the yes, daytime. Yes, yes, and, um, yes. Got mm -hmm. to see the cells and then I the, know, oh. and it's like looks just like it on does. the show. It does. Yes. So, but I did travel down there by myself. So again, selfies. You know. <laughs> okay, it's kind of it's really hard to think of everyone. I mean, you know, the celebrities. Mostly, you know, um, I liked playing <laughs> in the parade. Yeah. So. I just can't imagine. Oh, yes. It was so much fun. <laughs> I am so, so glad for you. I really am. So I'm reading from the paper here. And um, the murder in Coweta County. County producer Dick Atkins He's a very nice man. He's interesting. I mean, you know, you click on any of these people, you know, look them up on the website. It'll tell you all the stuff they do. I mean, big deal. They're all big deals. It's big. <laughs> yeah. It's really big. So, and then, um, so then we had um, Ronnie Shell shares memories and laughs with Jim Neighbors. So, he does like a little show and mm -hmm. it's really interesting. Mm -hmm funny he's a funny guy <laughs> he did something like a little routine with the pickpocket and i about best of gut isn't that what you say i don't know if that was in the show or not and then um they had uh entertainment with henry cho and he was funny 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 <laughs> funny and then rodney dillard and the dillard band which they were really good Excuse me. We had Karen Knox. Not. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> but um, a deputy's daughter. She's funny. She does other little shows, too. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what she 
you know, does all the time now. Really? Yes. And she's very, she's quiet, but she was very nice. And I was like, oh, I was, because I really hadn't talked to her. And I was like, oh, I wish I could have a picture with you. And she's like, okay. And I was like, dang. <laughs> so, I mean, everybody's nice. And then, um, Michael Hoover memories of elvis and he did elvis he did like four or five songs yeah uh well i mean he does songs yeah. but he was really good yeah he wasn't really elvis though karen Knox was really karen Knox. <laughs> and then um let's see the vw boys salute to mayberry so they do all kinds of songs and they're funny songs i mean it's that talks about chickens and I don't know. <laughs> it's really good. And then um, Karen again. She did tied up in knots. Cute. So uh, Professor Brower's lecture. I went to that. It was with Keith, Dennis, and Clint. Like I'm their best friend. Said their first names. And um, <laughs> but anyway, they were in the show, and they were friends of Opie in the show. Which of course Clint Howard. Is the peanut, you know, has the peanut butter he always offers. And the only time I've really seen him ever talk was never. But um, I think they did commercials. Okay. Like way, yes, way, yes, way. They did. Yes, yes. And he and was in, I seen that somewhere. And I can't never find him. I look for him, but I can't okay. find him. So I that saw, might be. I saw one um, here not too long ago. Um, he also starred in Gentle Ben, right? Yes. Yes. That was one of my faves, too. And he's in all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff now, so. And then Colin Ray, I already told you about that. And then Colonel Tim's Talent Show, which that, um, you know, there was a Michael Jackson. There was somebody that imitated um, Goober. And there was a little kid, a uh, younger kid, um, playing a guitar music. You know, there was... Um, what is it? Square dancers, yeah, you know, yeah. doing all the jumping around. Oh, the clogging. The clogging. Like, almost like tap dancing. Well, they had them big fluffy skirts on. Yeah, and do yeah. si do Well, and yeah, yeah. All that. Great. It was a good show. And then, um, see, all this time, I wasn't helping my sister. I was running around. <laughs> so, <laughs> Poor Debbie. I know. Poor <laughs> Debbie. And then Betty Lynn... And then, um, I know I'm missing some people. You know, there's people that weren't celebrities, but they're behind the scenes and they're uh -huh. doing everything, you know, helping, you know, getting them where they're supposed to be at what time. Yeah. And so they did all that. And then, um, really, you could probably look up anything that I told you anytime. The parade. Went to the jail. Oh. <laughs> and then, every year, they have a postmark. Oh, good. I'm glad and, you brought that up. Yes. And I posted a picture of the two. And it's the people in the Mayberry Library. I mean, library. Post office. Post <laughs> library. <laughs> ah. Um <laughs> post office and they draw it that's awesome and then they send it off and they get postmarked this year it was barney okay did you, you did you get a picture of that i do have a picture. good my sister sent it good. but my brother-in-law has all of them I oh think. that's awesome or at least when they started doing it yeah he had quite a few she put on her facebook um for those of you that are friends with her um and you might have seen it um where she said there, these people are artists. You'll, can you guess what they draw? Well, that's so what they that's draw. your answer. They draw the yearly postmark. Yes, that's, I didn't get a whole cool. lot of responses there, but yeah. that's okay. Um, and I mean, you know, the darlings, the um, music, food, um, entertainment. Comedy, signing, parade. It's all about Mayberry. And I had a wonderful time. And next year... <laughs> I'm playing with the camera. <laughs> and next year... <laughs> leaving Donna home. <laughs> and I'm not taking her. At all. <laughs> so... 
um, they have a trivia contest, so you might want to brush up on your trivia if you're going down there, because that's a big deal. And the questions are hard. Yeah. I mean, it is for me. Yeah. Some of them's like, oh, that's easy. <laughs> but um, it'll make you watch Mayberry yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Trying That's to cool. know the answers. That's cool. So, I appreciate y'all listening to me. I'm not a professional. I might have got names wrong. I tried to take stuff out of the Mayberry Confidential a little bit to spark my memory. Mm -hmm. And then also, you know, I had the books, which I've read everything on that. And then, um, don't forget. Cassie? Yes, yes. And then, um, took a little note here and there. Yes, I get everything autographed. I mean, you know, I got to. It's like I am starstruck. But they're so nice. They'll sign whatever. So, mm. it's a great day mm -hmm. in Mayberry. Well, I want to just thank everybody for being so wonderful to you. and um, They really are. I, mean, I don't think that anyone realizes. And let me go out with this. I mean, I'll let you talk, but no, that's I'm right. going to go We're out good. with We're this. Good. I, when my husband passed away, I didn't have anything to do, nothing too exciting, and I didn't really venture out, and for me to be able to go to North Carolina, where I know two people, mm -hmm. and end up having friends all over that's, the country all over the country and will last forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, I even met somebody that does world you all. dance. So That's awesome. I know. You all have grown my heart. Yes. And I'm I'm so thankful for that. So, you needed that really a lot. I know. Yes. So see mm -hmm. you in Mayberry. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> oh. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you have some questions, and we'll visit the links, and um, some of the people, maybe um, you can visit their sites, too, and um, we'll see you next time. We're going to, um, again, we're going to try some of Daryl's hot sauce sometime in the near future. The wall of flame. Mm -hmm. Hot sauce. Yeah, and then I think also, maybe next time we might be in costume. I'm going to be in costume at least <laughs> twice. I think. Are you really? I think so. I might just have like a little... I love Halloween. I don't go out Halloween trick or treat or anything. You yeah, know. she dresses like a kid and she goes out. <laughs> but I do like dressing up. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And then we have other stuff too. Like um, I did um, hand yoga today, believe it or not. And what is hand yoga? I'm telling you, it was like this yoga. You had to do all these little moves with your hands and stuff. And I'm telling you, I can tell. Really? <laughs> you want to um, wrestle? Remember the thing? No. Wrestle? Come on. Not, here Come we on. go. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, go. <laughs> she, oh. <laughs> Gone. Out. Bye.